Hello to our viewers and friends. We miss you again in the news bulletin of 24 hours channel. Let's take 10 minutes every day to listen to the hottest news and not able even that will happen during the day on 24 hours channel. In today's news, let's go through the not worthy contents. 1. Ladies and gentlemen, severe flooding in Heilongjiang, China. People say due to an announced upstream flood discharge, Jakina has entered the main flood season of this year, and floods have occurred in many places. In particular, that Pei district in Xing'an mountain range. Heilongjiang has suffered serious disasters and the dam has broken. People in the disaster area revealed that the upstream flood caused this. According to Chinese media reports, affected by recent continuous rainfall, 21 rivers in Heilongjiang, Inner Mongolia, Jiangsu, Zhejiang, Chongqing, Sichuan, and other places have had water level exceeds alarm level, with a maximum alarm over Sioux range of 2.75 meters. According to the latest online news, floods have occurred in many places in Thapi district, Daxingling region, Heilongjiang. Many villages and houses were flooded, and many people lost their homes. People in disaster areas revealed that the upstream flood caused the disaster, the shop owner at Station 17 of Thapa said. In the past, it rained continuously, sometimes it rained, sometimes it rained heavily. Why is the water so big? This water comes from upstream. That Pu district was completely flooded and some sections of the road were washed away because of a large amount of water suddenly pouring in. It flooded heavily at the foot of the mountain. It can slowly recede, currently cannot be withdrawn. So quickly, that Pu started to release the flood, but was not informed. The report also said that at around 7 o'clock on the 19th, more than 400 forestry workers in the Daihung area reinforced the dam at the central kindergarten at Station 17, that Po district, however, due to too great water pressure. The dam suddenly burst at about 1 p.m. that day, and more than 400 people were isolated. 2. 400 people trapped in floods in Daihung and Linhin in recent days, Heavy rain continues to pour down in the north of Daxing on Ling, Heilongjiang Province, China. The water level of the home or river section at that bus station, that Po district, Daxing and Lin suddenly suddenly fell. Search, damaging the dam leaving more than 400 forestry workers isolated. People's houses and fields were severely damaged. According to Chinese media CCTV, at 7 a.m. yesterday, more than 400 forestry workers reinforced the dam and built sandbags in the nursery at the Fat Botram Center in Thapa District, Daxing and Lin. At 11 o'clock, the water level of Koki Waiko Hydrological Station on the Hong Ar River was 104.67 meters, 1.77 meters above the alarm level, and the locality issued a red flood warning. Due to the great pressure of the water, at 1 p.m., the dike suddenly broke, leaving more than 400 people stranded. Lo Tone, a local resident in that back tram town, told the Epic Times that the biggest damage this time is farmers. The fields are completely flooded, now the water has not receded. Mr. Liu also said more than 100 people were saved when the dam broke, and the remaining 333 people were rescued at 5 p.m. Nearby there was a shack where a farmer grew mushrooms, and the water had reached the roof of the shack. All straw mushrooms are soaked in water, Mushroom growers suffer heavy losses. At present, the water level in the surrounding villages has not yet subsided. The water level rise is more than 7 meters higher than the normal water level, flooding the entire first floor. According to Mr. Liu, now the whole Thapa has become a water town, and the flooding is really severe, now all the people there have moved to higher ground. China has entered the rainy season, Wendu Town, Lichuan City, Hubei Province has been affected by a heavy rain. Rainfall in Vanto up to 301 mm caused houses to collapse, power outages, road disruptions and crop damage in the area. 3. A landslide in Yunnan, a fire in Fujian, a sandstorm in Inner Mongolia. Netizens ask each other is there any disaster yet to come? Heavy rains, floods, fires, fires, sandstorms, unusual calamities are still happening in China. The video posted by Twitter users shows that poor town, Yunnan province encountered heavy rain and flash floods causing landslides on a mountain road. Tier A Mu Old Town was flooded, one person died, 11 people were injured. Trapped, 17 buffaloes were swept away by floods. Many areas were submerged and flooded with turbid water. Senhu News Agency reported, at about 2.30 p.m., a fire broke out in a factory complex in Shendai Town. 
Xinjiang City, Chuanzhou, Fujian Province. The fire killed seven people at the scene. One person was injured and died after being taken to the hospital. The building has seven floors, an area of about 300 meters squared. The fire spread to 750 meters squared. Meanwhile, a sandstorm swept to Inner Mongolia, creating a sand wall stronghold that stretched into the sky and filled the view, causing people to worry for their lives. The video posted by Twitter users shows the area as isolated in a sandstorm. Also in Inner Mongolia, the video shows a tornado appearing, like a tornado slanting straight into the sky and blowing away. Everything, the scene was devastated and many fire trucks rushed to the area. 4. Chinese media lie without blinking when reporting on epidemics and natural disasters only reporting good news and avoiding negative information has been a way for the CCP to conceal the truth and distort reality. This approach is most evident in reporting on the Wuhan pneumonia pandemic and natural disasters in recent times, according to Bitter Winner. When the rains and floods ravaged southern China in early March, killing many people and sending large numbers of people to flee, the Chinese media was always on the scene. Positive information that is not disaster information. Most of the information that the Chinese media covers use a concept called positive energy, which has become popular since Chinese President Xi Jinping used it for domestic affairs and foreign affairs. 5. Super strong storm makes landfall on Hainan Island great news. Yesterday, at 1 o'clock at night, a super strong storm of over 13th level made landfall close to Hainan Island of China, causing big waves, high winds and making electricity, roads, the station is blocked. According to the Chinese mobile network, the super strong storm yesterday knocked out all the old trees and power poles and destroyed a harbor on Hainan Island, making the Xi government Xi Jinping cried out of tears. Ladies and gentlemen, China is constantly suffering from natural disasters and epidemics that are punished by Mother Nature. The other day a super strong storm knocked down a Chinese aircraft carrier Shindun. Yesterday, Typhoon No. A continued to make landfall on Hainan Island, causing high waves, high winds and flooding everywhere. According to China's central television channel CCTV, the super typhoon mentioned above with gusts above level 13. It is likely to increase by two levels to 14 and 15 after it passes over Hainan Island, and its direction of movement will move into the center of Beijing capital and the Tiananmen Square complex. Yesterday, Tiananmen Square sent out an urgent message, which was to blockade the entire capital of Beijing, because the Chinese authorities thought that if the storm above made landfall in the capital Beijing, it will surely cause heavy rain, high winds, earthquakes, break dikes, break dams and cause Tiananmen Square to be ruined because Tiananmen Square has experienced extremely bad days before. Ladies and gentlemen, why do storms, floods, and earthquakes occur consecutively in China but not in some neighboring countries called Beijing's neighbors? Then I would like to tell you that everything has a good cause and reason for it. China is a greedy country that continuously invades islands and territories and territorial waters of countries in the region. The evidence is that the US accused China of having borders with all 14 neighboring countries such as Laos, Vietnam, Myanmar, Mongolia, Burma, Japan, Korea, India, Pakistan and Russia. Go to war with 13 countries. As long as China is not invaded, that is Pakistan. That's why China recognizes Pakistan as a blood brother. This is the reason why China did not invade Pakistan's land. There are 13 countries around China under Mao Zedong, Jiang Zemin and Hu Jintao. Until now, under Mr. Xi Jinping, China is still trying to invade and it is because of China's insatiable greed that Mother Nature takes action. From the evening of the previous day at local time, most towns and villages in Tangshun District, Daju City, Sichuan Province continuously experience heavy rain, thunder and strong winds, causing severe flooding. Important. It can be seen that, from the video clips exposed by the online community, a number of relatively low-rise houses have been flooded with water all over the first floor. Serious flooding has also occurred in the inner city, on car streets, parked on both sides of the road soaked in water. Netizens exclaimed while filming a short video, the old town is all flooded. Dacho Meteorological Observatory issued a red storm warning at 9.52 a.m. Predicting rainfall in some places will reach more than 100 mm in the next three hours. In a video that is going viral online, a heart-pounding scene is captured when a passerby is almost swept away by floodwaters. In the video, floods in the river are rising fiercely. The flood is rolling over the riverbank. 
a passerby was driving a battery car trying to cross a flat dam. But unfortunately, the flood overturned, fell and was about to be swept away by the flood. The situation was very critical. At this moment, a man in a black raincoat walked quickly through the waist-deep flood, risking his life to pull himself up. At this moment, the battery-powered car was swept away by the flood and quickly submerged in the whirlpool. Several video clips of the floods in Datsu have gone viral on Weibo. Netizens left messages in the comment area under the video, praying that people in disaster-affected areas can safely survive the disaster. 6. Severe floods in southern China killed 108 people in the first three months of this year according to Economic Information Daily, from the beginning of the year until now. Continuous floods in 22 provinces and cities in China have caused at least 108 deaths and total economic losses of up to 5.6 billion US dollars. A total of 20. 79 million people in 22 provinces in China suffered damage from floods this year. Last Friday, a very strong rain began to sweep across the Changjiang, Kuaihe and Taihu rivers over a total area of about 210,000 square kilometers. Earlier, torrential rains poured into the northern districts of Shanghai, paralyzing the transportation system and disabling people's vehicles. 7. It is expected that drought will return after this year's flood season ends. Every year, more than 100 cities across China are inundated with flood water. According to statistics from China's Flood Control and Drought Relief Bureau, 184 cities in the country were affected by floods in 2012, 234 cities in 2013 and 125 cities last year. One of the main reasons is that local authorities do not pay attention to the drainage system, leading to frequent floods in many cities. More than 300 cities in China do not meet the national standard for flood prevention for urban areas. Even more than 90% of the old urban areas do not meet the lowest criteria for flood and storm prevention. We will constantly update and send you the latest and most accurate information, especially the stormy situation in China. We will also regularly update from TikTok news site or social networks. Association of the Chinese site to send you to grasp. Due to the limited time of the program, we would like to pause here. Thank you for watching your program. Best regards and see you soon. The recent information also makes the end of the comprehensive news bulletin for today. We will continue to update the last day information in the upcoming bulletin. Please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. For now, goodbye and see you again.